It's the story of a player in his prime just a few swings away from the major league when, well, life threw him a curve. If I had it my way, I can go back right now and, and play. Pete Tucci, Norwalk native and Providence College superstar. In 1996, he was the first round draft pick for the Toronto Blue Jays, and then he went on to play for the Padres. Pete was known for his bat during his college days, and in the minors, he hit 84 homers in just six seasons. And then what every player dreads, a devastating injury. Eventually broke a bone in my hand, and, and when the bone broke, it actually severed some ligaments uh, in my hand, which, which kind of decreased a lot of the strength you know, in my bottom hand and my swing. That stellar career, those big league dreams, over. It's definitely hard to, hard to handle, you know, uh, on most days. It was hard to watch. The woman who's known him since they were little kids watched her husband fade away as he worked in the family heating business. When he got injured, it just changed him and he was not who he was. So she bought him this, a lathe used to carve bats. An insane idea. I have no idea how it really came to be besides just a conversation with my best friend about how unhappy he was and that he needed to be back into baseball. And that night we got this and a pallet of wood and he made his first bat. It was nice to be able to just kind of go in the garage at night and, you know, I'd sometimes be in there till three, four in the morning just kind of by myself in my own little world of, you know, sawdust. It just gave me a lot of time to think and, and kind of reflect on my playing days. That was 2009, and back then, the bats he sold mostly went to the locals. They'd knock on our door and want a bat um, here and there. This is 81.7, uh, so this would probably be used for like a fungal bat. Never one to think small, Pete jumped right to the big leagues, selling the family business after his brother-in-law and partner died of a heart attack. He started making bats full time. I don't know what made me think about it at the time, because looking back now, it, it sounds kind of nuts. Tucci Lumber started at the top, making its first sale during spring training of 2012 to Gabby Sanchez of the Marlins. Now, just two years later, the boutique bat company has 160 major leaguers using its lumber. Amy and Pete work side by side. Amy does everything, specializing in the painting and the detail work. Each bat to me, if it's not perfect, I can't send it out. Along with a handful of employees, they're making nearly 20,000 bats a year. And these bats headed to the biggest names in baseball. He said to me one night, he said, I'm going to get Troy Tulowitzki. And I said, okay, yeah, sure. I'm Troy Tulowitzki and I swing Tucci Lumber. Now Tulo, as he's called, is also a business partner, along with the Giants, Pablo Sandoval. In our very first year, we had five guys in the World Series using our product. We both know who's using what, and um, it's so exciting. The first time we saw somebody hit a home run with our bat, we were actually at the game. Going back Hayward, looking up, see ya! A two-run home run for Nick Swisher. It was Nick Swisher who played for the Yankees at the time. This has become a crowded field. There are now 38 bat makers certified by the Major League. But Pete's experience at the plate sets Tucci Lumber apart. A lot of times you are dealing with a player who's in a slump and that's why he's trying your bat. He's switching away from something to try something new. I will kind of notice some things in their swing and make a, make a recommendation based on the bat. Pete didn't have the luxury of custom bats when he played. In fact, he blames his injury on the bat. And one of the things that really did it was, was the model bat I was using and, and what, you know, this certain knob that was on the bat. Part of his job to make sure his customers never have to suffer like he did. Again, it goes back to having confidence at the plate. How much confidence you have in the product in your hand. Amy would agree. It's about confidence and loving what you do. I just want him to be happy. Um, so as long as he's happy doing this, that's my goal. 